right, I'm here with my man, ESPN's John Clayton. John, break down a little bit about what you think could go down today for the Dolphins at number 12. Well, well first off, i got to break down the idea that yeah. you are dressed better than I am. I mean, you, you are is this, so does this surprise you, John? No, is this... it doesn't. I mean, it's like, you I mean, know, you're, you're always dapper. You're a Nordstrom's I mean, buddy. You know, but... yeah, I know I'm Nordstrom's buddy. He's, he's the guy that actually picks my clothes. I'm but, aware. I mean, you've got the, the Miami Vice look. I mean, you've got that <laughs> nice, cool look to you. That, but, of course, it was raining outside. So It was like, raining outside. It was raining outside. But, you... but getting back to the draft. <laughs> getting back to the draft. No, I mean, here's where the options are. I mean, I still think in the end they're going to end up with Dan Williams. But here's where the problem comes down. The Buffalo Bills at number nine are not going to take Brian Balaga. And so because of that, what you can probably see happening is that they're either going to take Derek Morgan or Dan Williams. Remember, they've got to come up with a nose tackle to go to a 3-4, so it's not out of the question for them to take Dan Williams. I think that Chan Gailey is going to be able to talk Buddy Nix into coming up and taking a uh, you know a Derek Morgan and ha use him as a pass rusher, even though some people question whether he can make the conversion to a 3-4 type of defense. But you know that's, I think, right now where things could work out bad. The other thing that's going to affect the Dolphins negatively is the possibility possibility that the Cleveland Browns could take Earl Campbell at number seven. I mean, you know, I looked at what the Browns were going to do, and if they weren't going to take Jimmy Clausen, which now seems to be apparent, then they were not. I mean, I can't see Mike Holmgren going there to take <laughs> Joe Hayden, and certainly he's not going to take Brian Malaga. So in the end, I think there's a decent chance that you're going to see, uh, you know, a couple moves where Thomas will go seven, uh, Morgan or Dan Williams will go at number uh, nine. So it really could come down to whether uh, Morgan is available or Dan Williams is available. Yeah, exactly. And so much of it, I guess it's kind of ironic, it's in the division. The Bill's pretty much. Right control where all that's going. Okay. We'll find out. John Clayton, ESPN. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks.